Good evening, I'm Shamika Neely. A two-year-old Goshen boy is dead following an accident on his family's farm. Dewin Imhoff died Thursday night after being struck by a skid loader. The Elkhart County Sheriff's Department says the boy's father, 29-year-old Daniel Imhoff, was backing up the skid loader just after 8 p.m. and did not see his son walk towards him in the dark. The IU football team opens Big Ten play tomorrow afternoon at Michigan. The last time the two teams met came in 2006 when the Wolverines topped the Hoosiers in a resounding 34-3 fashion. WTIU's Dave Leno reports. IU coach Bill Lynch is gearing up for his players for not only a tough game, but an intimidating atmosphere. The two home games this season witnessed crowds close to 30,000. Now imagine four times the size of the masses at Memorial Stadium. That's the type of venue where IU hopes to extend its record to 4-0. You have to address it and you have to embrace it and you have to, you know, there's no question. It's a thrill to get to go play there. I mean, uh, there's, a, there's a reason why kids want to go play Big Ten football. I mean, they want to play at Michigan and at Ohio State and at Penn State and at Iowa. And, I mean, that's all part of it. As Big Ten season hits, Lynch constantly reminds his players to ignore the team's critics. Just like last week at Akron, IU is an overwhelming underdog tomorrow at Michigan Stadium. Defensive end Jamie Curlew acknowledges that Michigan has beaten IU 15 consecutive times, but he says that's a stat that Cream and Crimson can't keep in their minds. We're not going to let it bother us. And I think something big, what uh, Coach Lynch did before the game, um, last week, uh, he was handed a newspaper of, uh, I think, uh, out of Cleveland. They were saying something about us. I, I, he never, he didn't read it to us. But um, they're saying some, obviously something negative about us. And he, and he said, you know, I'm not even going to read this to you guys. Um, we don't need that. And a look at your weather tonight, mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of rain showers, lows in the upper 50s. Tomorrow night with a 30% chance of rain, rain showers, isolated thunderstorms, highs in the mid-70s. Tomorrow night, mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of rain showers.